The recording module is all about having hands-on experience with different microphones, instruments and interacting with musicians from different musical backgrounds. We encourage our students to get in on recording sessions, work with different musicians and explore different kinds of recording techniques. Recording is one of the most important processes, if not the most important process. Grace Park Audio Academy has taught me uh, about different miking positions and how placing a mic in a certain way can affect the sound of your source in your recording. You know, they they teach different miking techniques, you know, something like X Y A B mid side and stuff like that. So we often say that audio engineering is part art and part science and it is the most evident when it comes to recording. You can find such creative ways to record sounds like using room mics to record a guitar cabinet or using a speaker as a sub kick. So our aim in the recording module is to give students an access to this analytical framework to build this analytical framework and to break down multiple recordings so that they get a hang of this so let's say from one of my faculty i learned uh, a lot about the pop genre and how to record different instruments that belong to that set of genre like the way they're played and stuff and then from another faculty i learned how to work with the rock and the metal genres now say for example you have a song where you want to record acoustic guitars a song that has a very busy arrangement you would need a very different approach as to what the sound of the acoustic guitar would need to be versus a song that has very sparse arrangement the sound of the acoustic guitar in that case would have to be very different so how do you go about miking the instrument in that case we'd like to build this framework by trying it out on different recordings and helping students understand how to actually approach it a lot of the times at least earlier before i started with the course um I used to my guitars that I would record would be in a different tangent and the drums would be in a different tangent in a way that they would not sit well together and then uh, only after doing multiple recordings at the academy did I get the understanding that you know okay if the drums are dark the guitar should also complement that in a way that it could not be too bright it has to kind of sit well with the drums and uh, doing that kind of made it a lot easier for me to get cleaner mixes and have to do a lot less of problem fixing in the mixes um now that I know that if I record an instrument I know for a fact that whoever is the mix engineer would get to do a lot more of mixing rather than uh, problem fixing in his mixes so one of the things that is most challenging when creating a record is to understand what the end result needs to sound like and then approach the recording with that end result in mind so we give students assignments at the end of every week so that they can get into the studio and apply everything that they've learned in class at the end of the recording module we divide the batch into two groups and ask them to record a live performance of a band inside the studio The students have to figure out everything from creating an input list to figuring out artist mixes and even troubleshooting whatever goes wrong on the day of the event and all of this has to be done within a time limit as it would for a commercial client. That was a lot of fun and we did that assignment in groups. Uh we also faced a lot of issues and problems in this assignment. So troubleshooting was a skill we definitely developed through this uh live band recording. During the recording module at the Grace Park Audio Academy, I was allowed to use a wide range of equipment uh, at the studio such as a variety of different microphones, preamps and a lot of outboard gear as well. That gave me a lot of hands-on experience while recording artists at the studio such that it gave me time to spend recording instruments like drums, classic Indian classical instruments, acoustic guitars, piano, upright piano and a variety of other uh, instruments and also recording in the different uh, spaces in Grace Park Audio Academy there's a studio A B C and D which um, you know all the rooms are different so how recording in each room actually gives me a very different sound Grace Park Audio Academy has also taught me how to interact with clients and how to make them feel comfortable and how to make sure that they can give the best performance at that given place and time. Yeah, so I would say the the recording module has been really helpful for me in understanding a lot of things that I can also apply in my own personal projects and help me achieve the sound that I would want to get in my own music. Since the students are learning in an actual commercial environment where multiple records are made in a year, they get to learn all of these skills on the job which turns them into the professionals of tomorrow.